I was expecting more Latin America. I was expecting $2 tacos. I was expecting, honestly, like I'm not even quite sure how to put it into words, but it's definitely not this. I've been in Mexico for about a month now, and I totally understand that my type of travel is completely different. I love the term of slow traveling because I think that's what more closely identifies with the way that I like traveling, like slow, living like a local. I wanna know exactly what my life would be like in this corner of the world. That means sitting for hours at a coffee shop, just people watching, enjoying, trying out different restaurants and going to different workout classes, which is just something that I love. So today I signed us up for Saturday indoor cycling at this place that is the most known cycle studio in Mexico, Ciclo. Which is basically cycle bar, soul cycle, all of that, but in Mexico. Sweating, they gave us some coconut water. It was great. I'm super tired, that was great. I wanna do it again. Look at how wet he is. It's like dripping. I give it all. So what do I mean by it's not what I expected? Well, I don't know. I just didn't expect. I knew. I knew it was a big city, but I didn't know it was this big. Like you're landing and you see sit like normally when you land, you see the city, you land. No, here. City, 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 city. Hello, where's the airport? 30 minutes in. City, 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 city. Like where does this end? It's huge, huge, huge. And that hugeness, I think also translates translates to these buildings. I mean, the place we're staying at has 51 floors. That's absolutely wild. That's not what I expected. Now we're on our way to get some breakfast, much needed. This is literally one of my favorite parts of Mexico City. Super calm, not that much traffic, so peace. You just feel it. And so, so, so green. This place is called Mora Mora. It's a clean and green. It has a bunch of greens, <laughs> vanilla protein, the vegan one, and some fruit. I don't remember which one. It's really good. I didn't expect to have this much nature mixed in with this much of like a big city. I don't think that's something that you normally see. And of course, I just didn't expect this much luxury. And I know this is not all of Mexico City. I know that. But this much like store after store, the extravagant malls that I got to visit, like these beautiful, beautiful streets of just long, beautiful sidewalks, like incredible dining experiences experiences just so much to indulge and try literally in every corner that's not what i was expecting basically anywhere i travel i have my appointment to do my laser so i don't fall off track and i love that i found one next to the other so that way i can get both done right there perfect i wasn't able to make the appointment for during the week so i'm gonna send them a little what's up <laughs> where have you been you didn't notice we had already started walking no <laughs> And if I'm honest, of course, that translates to everything. I think everyone says like, oh yeah, in Mexico, $2 tacos. I don't know where. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you're going to like a certain style of taqueria and a certain part, but literally my favorite taco is probably like, and one taco, we're talking about one taco. Let me convert it. I think it's about... <laughs> I'm pretty sure this was the price of it, $16 for one taco. We're doing some cool hunting. What's that? That's when you find trendy stuff in different markets around the cities, and then you can use that for a business if you want. Okay, what do you mean for a business? That's when you find trendy and unique stuff with a business potential that you can use and maybe elevate the idea. So it's not what I expected, but I'm definitely leaving in love with this city, in love with all the experiences, in love with everything that there is to try because Mexico, you take it up a notch. And that's why I love you. This is one of my favorite parks. It's called Lincoln Park. My favorite parks are Lincoln Park, Parque Mexico, y Parque España. Those are my top, top, top. This is the best place to just walk. As you can see, it's super nature which is something that I was not expecting of Mexico City. Literally, the parks are like no other. There was a park that we found that even had like this painting thing that we did. We painted pottery in a park. I mean, every park should have that. 
And I think this is the side of Mexico City that not a lot of people talk about, but it's so insanely beautiful and peaceful. And the restaurants here, I mean, are like no other. So if you're coming here, I, as you guys know, stay at least for a month in every place. But if you are coming here, I recommend staying around Roma Norte or Polanco. This in specific is Polanco. Roma Norte is on the other side. It's a bit of a similar vibe in my opinion. I think this one's just a bit more, a bit more like tranquil. And the other one just has like more walking, more coffee shops. This one's a bit more like, they're both amazing. Now we're headed over to grab some lunch. My favorite three places to eat, if I had to choose, would be... Wow, it's tough. The tacos? Oh, oh, okay. Number one, Siembra Taqueria. It has the best tuna tacos, and the tuna is in abundance. Like, it's not like, like you know, fish tacos. They're like, eh. no. Like, abundant, so fresh, so mm, delicious. It has, like, a crunch on top. Absolutely. That's a great one. That's it's number like a one. It's one, right? Oh yeah, and then at the blind dining experience that we did where we literally, you had to put on a blindfold to go eat. I had a taco there that was also tuna, but it was like, um, it was like seasoned in like a ceviche style. That was also amazing, amazing. And then number three would probably be, everything's been so good. I mean, Mora Mora has the best, best, best smoothies and actually today's avocado toast was very, very good. I think, yeah, that would come in at number three, but there's obviously, I have a list, like every place. Like 50 plus Yeah, places. of all my favorite, favorite restaurants. So, but those would be top three. And now we get to try this pasta, which is from scratch. Build your own. To me, this city is perfect for anybody that's working remote, that loves, loves, loves a good, good, good food scene. It's definitely for you coffee shops, tea shops. I mean, insane amounts. And that's someone who I think would enjoy the city so much. Somebody that loves walking. Museums. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of museums. And honestly, I just think people should explore and create their own judgments. Like I know even myself, when I was telling my family, like, oh, I'm going to Mexico. They're like, have you heard the news? Then I get it. It's what we see on the news, but I think it's so important for us to live it and take our own conclusions and see it for ourselves because most of the time it's not going to be what we hear on the news or what people think it's like it's completely different and that's the experience I'm leaving with finished eating it was delicious now let's see what should we do we just walk around that's our usual thing walk around to find things and we ended up at this mall a very fancy mall and then on the literally lower level like in the parking lot we have this wild like beauty experience with tons of brands like tons of activities pretty cool <laughs> those are things that you just find like walking around in the city we never know what's going to happen where we're going to end up but it always turns out being so cool <laughs> For some reason, we never know where we end up. We always end up somewhere. If you're looking for places to work from, I ultimately recommend the Café Brerias. They're so cool. Café Brerias are basically a whole library, like bookstore, with full cafe, like full restaurant, breakfast, lunch, teas, like anything you want to drink, cocktails, they have it all. And it's like super cozy and they have them all over the place. I'm obsessed. That's like my go-to work spot. If I would have to work outside, that's pretty much it. It's been a long day. Day. My legs are tired from the cycling. I mean, we haven't even been home since that morning class, so it's time to get back. Just like every other place I've been to, I've been using my Google Maps and I have literally now officially more than 70 places saved. So I have one for every city that I've been in. Ciudad de Mexico, 74 places. Look at all those little blue dots. Those are all the places. Food, massage spots, coffee shops, like all my go-tos are here. And if you want that exact Google Maps link with all the places already saved, I think the easiest way is just if you DM me Mexico on Instagram so that way I can send you guys the link and you can save it on your phone have all my favorite spots and you can also enjoy Ciudad de Mexico and of course like every video guess where I'm headed to next by dropping your comment below there was a moment where they put the I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. and I don't know 
the horse girl in me came out and I was like, Ooh, I was about to start going like that with my towel. And everyone else was like struggling because it, it was an uphill. You guys know that in an uphill you go full um, force. So it's like really hard. You're barely moving. And I was like, Ooh. 